this is the first practical that is involving the practical of the principle of movement. Um, this question on the board, I picked it from the 1998 live past question. So we are going to be treating that. Okay. So um, let's take a look at the question. From the diagram, okay, PQ is given as the meter rule, and this is our pivot or the knife edge. Then we are going to be hanging different masses, uh, starting from the known mass, okay, which is 50 gram. So from the question, we are given a mass of 50 gram to start with, and we are going to attach it to the meter rule by the means of a tray. So we are going to use a tray to attach the 50 gram mass on the meter rule at 1 cm away from the meter rule. Okay, so when we we place the mass at 1 cm away, we are going to balance the meter rule such that it will be in what equilibrium. Okay, and once we balance that, we are going to take the distance between the fulcrum or the five volt to the load, which is the mass 50 gram. Okay, so let's proceed and see what we are going to arrive at. Okay, so suspend the given body. Okay, I've already suspended that. Okay, suspend it at the one cm mark. Okay, so as I've suspended it at the one cm mark, I'm going to make sure that it balances horizontally. Okay, as you can see here in the diagram, it's balanced horizontally on the line edge. Okay, so um, we are going to determine. A record the value of S. We are going to determine the record the value from here to here, which is what X. Okay? Then we are going to also do that for different other masses. So we are going to be still adding masses 20 grams to this 50 gram. We are going to add another mass, okay? But we are going to maintain the position as 1 cm throughout the experiment. So we are not going to change the position of which we are hanging the word. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to give us one. Okay, then after that one, you you are you will be left to do the rest for yourself. Okay, so after that, we are going to plot a graph of m, okay, which is the masses against one over x. We are going to take the impact of x, giving us one over x. Okay, from here to here is x, like I said. So we are going to take the inverse of x. Okay? So the first thing that I did was only for the first case, which is the 50 gram mass. Okay? When I hold the 50 gram mass okay, in my in one centimeter, I'm going to check the position that the knife edge balanced horizontally. Okay? The distance between here to here is going to give me my distance x. Okay, so from here, I have where I found my mass, it had a 1 cm mark, but where I found out that it balanced horizontally is at the 30, 35.5 cm mark. So how am I going to get the distance x? x will then for be equal to 35.5 cm minus 1 cm. Okay? In that case, I'm going to get 34.5 meters. So for the first thing on my table, that's for my edge, it's going to be 34.5 cm. When I get 34.5 cm, I'm going to take the inverse, okay? 1 over 34.5, okay, that will give me what? 0 0.029. Okay, that was going to give me the impact. So I'll also do that for when my mass has been increased to 70 grams. But when my mass is increased to 70 grams, I'm going to take the same position of 1 centimeter. Okay, so this position is not going to be. So all you just need to do is to what, add a mass of 20 grams to this, making it 70 grams, and also adjusting your meter rate such that it balances out horizontally. So after doing that, you are going to obtain okay, different values for your 70 gram. Okay, so I'm going to just tabulate the rest. Because for my 70 gram, I'm going to obtain, of course you know, that if I increase the masses, what will happen? The distance x 
okay, we'll keep on what? Reducing. So in that case, I will have a reduction here. So probably 13.5, I will have here 31.5, 29.5, 27.5, and 26.5, respectively. So I'm going to look for the inverse of this value. The inverse of 33.5, okay, is going to give me 0 0.029. Okay, the inverse of 1 over 31, 1 over 31.5, is going to give me 0 0.03. Okay, 1 over 29.5. Thank you and progress. 